This video will cover a number puzzle about preventing an unstable cauldron from bubbling over. First, let's go over the materials. You'll need counters that have the numbers 1 through 30 on them. The counters I'm using I got at any arts and crafts store, but you can make your own using scraps of paper. Next, you'll need a cauldron. The one I'm using is a cutout that you could find over at mathcircles.org, but again, feel free to create your own using paper. Let's go over the rules. Starting with the number 1, we want to place our numbers in either cauldron in ascending order, and we can't skip any numbers. So, I'll place my number 1 in this cauldron to the left. Remember, we can place our numbers in either cauldron. Next, I have to place the number 2. I'll place my 2 in the cauldron to the right. 3, I'll also place in my cauldron to the right. 4, I'll place this one in my cauldron to the left. And I'll place 5 there as well. This is a good time to talk about our second rule. Our numbers are actually highly potent alchemic ingredients, and under the right conditions, they cause the cauldron to bubble over and become unstable. That happens when two of the numbers in our cauldron add up to a third number in our cauldron. As you can see, in our cauldron to the left, 1 plus 4 equals 5, and since all three of those numbers are in the cauldron, it becomes unstable and explodes. When this happens, all of the numbers we placed in both cauldrons reset and we have to start over again. Let's go over a few questions. In each of these questions, the goal is to place the largest number we can to prevent the cauldrons from bubbling over and exploding. As we go through the questions, you can pause the video and work on them as we talk about them, or you can wait to the end of the video and go over the questions at your own pace. Our first question is, starting with the number one, and placing our numbers in ascending order without skipping any, how high can we go without causing one of our cauldrons to bubble over and explode? In my example, you see I get to the number 6 before causing my right cauldron to explode. What's the largest number you can reach? Keep trying until you think you get the largest possible number. Now for our second question, we're going to need to add another cauldron. Using three cauldrons, and starting from the number one, what's the largest number we can place so that none of the three cauldrons explode? As an added challenge, before we begin, make a prediction about what you think the largest number is going to be. For the third question, we're back to two cauldrons. It's very similar to our first question, only this time, rather than starting with the number one, we're going to start with the number two, following all the same rules the first question did. Again, we want to find the largest possible number we can place without causing either cauldron to explode. Once we figured out the largest number we could place starting with the number 2, let's do it again, but this time starting with the number 3. Then, after we've solved that, let's do it again, starting with the number 4, and so on. The goal is, can we find a system or a mathematical expression to figure out what's the largest number we could place starting with any positive whole number? Our last question is a difficult one. For this one, we're going to once again start with the number 1, only this time we're going to slightly alter our second rule, which determines when a cauldron explodes. Now, instead of exploding when two numbers in the cauldron add up to a third, it will only explode when three numbers in the cauldron add up to a fourth. So for example, if in my left cauldron here I place the numbers 1, 2, and 3, Previously, it would have caused the cauldron to explode, since 1 plus 2 equals 3. But now, it won't explode until 3 numbers add up to a fourth. So I could place the number 4 in the cauldron, 5 in the cauldron. But once I place 6, the cauldron will become unstable, since 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. The goal is, using these new rules, what's the largest number we can place without causing either cauldron to explode? If you can answer that, Try once again to start with 2 and see what's the largest number you can place, and 3, etc. Try to determine what's the largest number you could place starting with any whole number. This problem originates from mathpickle.com. For more questions related to bubbling cauldrons, including some unsolved questions, check them out. You can find all the resources we use for this activity, and more activities like it, 
over at mathcircles.org.